Uh, take one of however many times I have to do this. Anyway, uh, there's numerous questions to get through, and I would like to do all of them. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Well, actually, no. First of all, thank you all for 50,000 subs. I appreciate it. Never in a million years did I think I'd ever reach this milestone. It's crazy to me, really. And uh, I never really expected to get there. I started off doing it just for fun or just... I think that's a question I'll answer during this whole thing, but I never expected to reach 50k. <laughs> I never expected to reach 10k, but I, I did that in the first year, and now three years later, I think. I think. I've been doing this a while. I lose track of time. But yeah, somewhere around the three year marker. Maybe a little past it, I don't know. Um, I'm here. <laughs> So, with that being said, question one is, does it get exhausting doing all these videos for us? Love them, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Uh, yes, very much so. Not for the reasons you might think, though. Uh, not because I have to record, edit, and come up with new stories constantly. Uh, it's mainly because, as an anxious person, just in general, seeing, like the analytics side of stuff can really tire me out because I put, I could put like so much time and effort into a video for it to tank and do horribly. Uh, and then it starts making me anxious. And then I worry like, is this it for me? Is this it for my channel? <laughs> but I just constantly remind myself that next month's going to be better. Uh, things with content creation, especially, it's not steady. It's not a constant. It's an up and down. If you're going to do good, you got to have some of the bad too, you know? <laughs> so I try to keep myself in high spirits with that. Uh, how did I get into voice acting slash ASMR world? Uh, insomnia. <laughs> That's how I got into the ASMR stuff, at least. Voice acting has always been something I would liked to have done because obviously I have a voice that people like listening to. Even just like going through life, people have said, wow, you have such a nice voice. Thank you. I don't know how to respond to that, but thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's just something that kind of happened. I decided one day, I was like, I'm going to try. And so I did. And it kind of took off. So I'm glad I did. <laughs> uh, do I have any tropes that I feel are underrated? Yes, very much so. Uh, driders. Every time I do a drider one, those kind of tank. Or like something that's like not the typical monsters that you would see. Like, uh, Driders, I know there was a, oh, what was it? There was, there was another monster one that I saw a long time ago that I really enjoyed watching, but you just can't find those anymore. It's always like the, the werewolves or the Nekos or <laughs> the Harpies even. Harpies aren't even that common. Just, uh, the classics, really, which I can't fault people for doing. People like those, so... <laughs> Do I ever plan to draw any art for your audios, or do you just commission work? Uh, as of right now, I just commission. I commission a lot of my friends uh, and just other artists along VGen. Uh, I like supporting artists because they're really good at what they do. Um, but as for me drawing, in the future, maybe. But even if I get, like really good at doing it um i'll probably still commission a lot because i like supporting my friends a few questions if you don't mind answering always hoodies or sweaters hoodies i don't i i like my big oversized hoodies i have a lot of them 
my sexuality. Um, I'm by. Do I plan on doing any more trans comfort audios? I do, actually. I just gotta sit down and figure out a good story for it. Uh, how did I start my channel? Um, okay, I went to YouTube.com and I clicked Create Channel. Not really. I Well, I did, but that's not what happened, but, you know. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I don't remember. I don't know what led me to it. Um, I know why I named it what I did at the time. Um, everything since my first game console that you could name yourself on, everything's always been related to wolves, obviously. I love wolves. They're one of my favorite animals. <laughs> um... So I just named it Wolf Audios. I kind of looked at everyone else that I listened to and they all had audios in their name. Uh, so I was like, oh, is that, that, that must be the thing to do. <laughs> that, that must give me the stamp of approval of being an audio roleplay <laughs> person. So that's what I did. I named myself Wolf Audios and I created my first video. <laughs> Literally recording off of like an Xbox headset. Like a really shitty one too, not even a good one. Uh, plugged into my phone, and I like tacked blankets up to the wall. Actually, no, not even for the start of it. I literally just stood in a dark closet and recorded. <laughs> so sometimes in the videos, like the older ones, you could see like slight slivers of light every once in a while, and that was because the light was coming underneath the closet door. It was really, really goofy stuff that I did, but I started. You don't really need anything fancy to start doing this. Uh, favorite dinosaur, Velociraptor. They're cool as fuck. Love them. Excellent pack hunters, too. My dream YouTuber zombie apocalypse team. Okay, so... I thought about this when I saw it, and I don't want to choose like, an entire group of people. Because, like, you know, there's groups like The Boys or, like, The Vanoss Group or all, all, all these other groups that are just out there. I don't want to choose, like, a bunch of people from one group. But I would probably choose uh, a YouTuber called Your Narrator. A very deep voice gentleman. But he has excellent background and would be very helpful in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, I'm only going to choose like three people, by the way. <laughs> I feel like it's a good squad. Um, probably Wildcat from like the Vanoss group or whatever. I don't know if any of you know who I'm talking about at all. But I am Wildcat. He grew up on a farm. He's lived around a bunch of stuff like that. He, he, he'd be helpful. But that ingenuity. <laughs> um, and maybe be... Did I just stutter with the bees? What? It's fine. Ignore it. Moving on. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I don't tend to keep, like, names. <laughs> like, of YouTubers locked up in my head. Uh, so I'd probably go back to the boys and choose, like, Juicy for comedic relief. I feel like that'd be good. You gotta have comedy in, uh, survival situations occasionally. Or else you'll just go, woohoo. What would I want for a superpower? Flight. I know it's kind of basic, but it would make my life so much easier. I wouldn't have to deal with airports, anything like that, and I could fly to see everybody I wanted to see. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, the most useful of the powers I could get. Long hair, short hair, and why? Um, loaded question. Because I've had both hair and I have liked them both. At the moment, I have short hair growing back into long hair. But I had long hair for quite a few years. Uh, it was down to like the mid portion of my back. Which is long. <laughs> for a six foot three person. Um... I don't remember why I cut it. It was probably like some sad boy stuff and I just decided, you know what, I'm cutting my hair today. My head felt so much lighter afterwards. 
But if I had to choose, I'd probably choose long hair because I like styling my hair. I liked braiding my hair, so. <laughs> so I'd have to choose long hair. How many pets do I have? I have three dogs and one cat. I have my oldest dog is named Daisy. My second is named Rowdy. My youngest dog is named Maury, who is just just a baby and I love her dearly. And my youngest overall is my cat, Calliope. Calliope Maury. Shocker, right? <laughs> uh, waffles or pancakes? Don't have a really good answer for that. I don't really eat breakfast stuff. Or waffles or pancakes in general. But I would probably have to choose pancakes because I did eat those the most when I did eat that stuff. My favorite kind of audios are sad because they're not very popular ones. It's the friends to lovers trope. I, I notice, especially with my friends, the ones that have friend in the name, they don't tend to do as well, which is okay. They're not everybody's cup of tea. Understood. I just personally like them. But trope-wise, Werewolf Neko. I'm biased. <laughs> What are some hobbies you have aside from making content? Mine would be poetry. Uh, mine would be either these kind of go hand in hand, I guess. But gaming and cosplay. I love cosplay. I'm actually 3D printing uh, the Excalibur from Sword Art Online right now. <laughs> um, that and carpentry, I guess. I do a lot of renovations on my own house. <laughs> So, I, I do a lot of things, none of them particularly well, but I do them all. <laughs> um, what is the most outlandish slash oddly specific idea you've had uh, for an audio? Um, it would have to be the like the gag ones, like the ones where like uh, it's normally like. Boyfriend kisses you, then fucking dies. ASMR. It would have to be one of those. Um, like, I think I, I did upload them here, too. It was the... Um, <laughs> I don't remember if I uploaded the second one, but the other the second one literally had uh, a Pitbull lyric in it. Uh, <laughs> after I yelled fireball from being transported to a new world, and then the listener was burned alive the me the caster in the other world yelled fireball and then mr worldwide came in from right field and just started with his song i think that's got to be the the most specific i've got with thing because i'll start with the general idea with the video and then i'll just go with it but i think that's the only one i fully like start to finish fully thought out before i recorded <laughs> what's my favorite animal uh wolves <laughs> I think I said that already. What wild animal would you have as a pet? <laughs> Wolves. <laughs> but I guess does favorite I'm do you mean domesticated animal, maybe? I'll answer that too, just in case. Uh favorite domesticated animal would have to be hmm, tabby cats. I'm biased again because my cat's a tabby. <laughs> my favorite type of audio to make uh, I said this already but I'll answer it again more detail um, Werewolf and Neko uh, mainly because I'm a werewolf obviously and there's a, a certain a Neko person <laughs> that I like making audios about fun fact a lot of the time, I will be thinking about somebody while recording. So it'll, it'll, it helps me kind of get into character a bit more to envision like I'm actually in the story for a little bit to kind of get, get the flow going, kind of, which I need to start doing again because I feel like that also helped make it more real and actually there because I was envisioning myself in the voice or in the place of the speaker. <laughs> Do you have a creator you look up to or who got you into audio creation? Yes. 
Yes, 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 and yes. Teacup Audios. Uh, miss her YouTube dearly. Uh, you can find her Patreon, though. She has always made amazing content and has been wrongfully kicked from YouTube many times. I'm pretty sure I've watched four or five of her channels rise and fall. But yes, it was her content that originally made me want to start doing this myself. And I actually got to message with them a little bit because I was asking for advice for the the rut that I was in at the beginning of the year. And they helped me a lot. They gave me some sound advice, which was really cool for me because I got to talk to them. Favorite comfort food, tacos. That is favorite comfort food or just food in general. I love tacos. Okay, many questions. What are your favorite things to do in life? Um... Probably just live it, I guess. I do a lot of things in a day, so I can't really hone it on one thing or just a couple things. So just living my life day to day, I can't ask for more than that. I'm not guaranteed to be here tomorrow, so I, I try to live with what I have and be happy with what I have. Which is hard when you're an anxious person, <laughs> but I make do. I'm very, definitely very lucky and very happy with where my life is at right now. Especially coming from very shitty upbringings. <laughs> very shitty starting in life, but here I am now. And I'm better for it, so. Living, living in the moment and enjoying the things that I have including my cat, who you might hear meowing in the background occasionally. <laughs> who is my favorite person? Uh, my significant other. My favorite color? Um, okay, I'll, I'll give two answers to this, because one of them is technically a shade. The shade is black. I love the color black. Shade black, sorry. But a darker purple would probably be my favorite color. My favorite video I've made over the years? Um... I don't know. I've made so many. Oh, what is it? It would probably be the the whole series that I did with the werewolf, the werewolf village and everything back when I started making longer form content. It would probably be that series. I loved that series. That was so much fun. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it? <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed creating the world for it. It was a lot of fun to think about and come up with stories and everything like that. Uh, single or Taken? I kind of answered this with a favorite person, but Taken. Favorite foods and movies? Tacos and... That's a tough one. I don't really watch a lot of movies anymore. Recent movies have just been bad. <laughs> um, I'll go with my past favorite movie, because I used to binge the movie... On repeat is the first Avatar movie like with the Navi and everything I had that movie on repeat for so long uh, if you and your best friend were criminals what would you be arrested for funny thing uh, he actually had a dream about this where we both got arrested for robbing a bank <laughs> so probably that I think it's all my questions I love your videos very much love your content and I hope you pick me uh, pretty soon have a wonderful day I hope you have a wonderful day, too. I'm trying to do everybody today. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, it's going to be a long video for sure, but I'm trying. Where did I commission... Uh, oh, who did I commission for my VTuber model? Um, my dear friend, Do Remy, who I met over a year ago now, actually. I met Do back when she was a PNG tuber. <laughs> This is before she's made her first model and everything. Doe does her own art, her own model, everything. That's why I commissioned for a lot of my stuff, actually. Speaking of which, new outfit coming in the future. New outfit, new outfit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was the first VTuber model that she made for somebody else. Uh, commissioned, obviously. But I was... I messaged Doe like late one night. It's like, would you be willing to do the art for my VTuber model? 
And then Dell was like, if it's okay, I would also like to try to rig it as well. I was like, okay, sure. Same person, less crediting. Because if I had the an artist, a person who rigs it, everything like that, I would have a long list of crediting, which I would have done anyway, because I credit artists, obviously. But crediting Doe for a lot of my stuff makes it easier on the eyes for people who are looking at my credits list. Uh, where to send fan art if you want to send fan art? Uh, so on Twitter, if you do hashtag Lycos art, actually use Lycosis art because I'll be changing it soon. Same, same spelling as Lycos, just with an IS at the end of that as well. Um, or I have a stream related, uh, discord server. So I don't really talk about YouTube stuff in that server. Uh, but there's art sections in there. Uh, if you stop by one of my streams, you can do exclamation point Discord for to uh, join the server. Also, regardless execution of this audio idea, I know all that I support you trying things 100%. I'm glad. Thank you. Uh, I didn't know how I wanted to do this or if I just want to respond to everybody or if I wanted to record something. Definitely was leaning towards recording, which is what I'm doing now. First try, by the way. <laughs> what led you to the ASMR or voice acting community? Also, have a nice day. Stay hydrated. I will certainly try. Um, ASMR, uh, insomnia. Definitely. I needed something playing in my ears to help me kind of slow my brain down, relax, and get the just general troubles of my day gone. Because there was a lot of them around the point when I started listening. Voice acting community, specifically, um, this is really cringy, but video game voice acting and anime <laughs> led me to voice acting. I'm actually building my own booth right now, which is going to be really helpful for not only this, but applying for voice acting gigs and everything. <laughs> Who's my favorite voice actor that you often listen to? Okay, so previously it would have been Teacup Audios, uh, but can't really listen to their content as often because they don't have YouTube anymore. Um, as of right now, I listen to a lot of Debussy. I've been listening to them a lot lately. Debussy ASMR and... Ryzen, I think. Yeah, Ryzen ASMR. I've listened to a lot of their stuff lately. Also, a new VTuber that just came out um, called... What's their name? Strawny Cuddles. It's a goldfish VTuber from Via Lure. They do a lot of ASMR stuff. But I listen to them a lot lately. But my favorite one as of right now would probably have to be Debussy. So I listen to them the most. Wondering why you changed my prepare and upload schedule? That is an ongoing test. I'm probably going to switch it back at the end of this week uh, because I know a lot of people aren't really there for it and it has thrown me off quite a bit as well. But it's mainly because that's when YouTube's showing that all of my viewers are most active during the day. Um, which isn't always a good thing, especially for my content because you want it to be late at night for my content. So I'm probably going to switch back at the end of the week uh, and see how that goes. I hope it's all as well. There's like, oh, sir, take care and congratulations on 50k subs. You deserve more. Thank you. I don't personally think that, but I'm, I'm grateful. How long does it take on average to make one of your videos script recording, uh, et cetera? Much love for the content. I'm glad you like the content. Um, it varies. It does. Cause some days I will have to record something multiple times because I don't like the way it turned out. Uh, editing. If I can keep myself focused, and not get sidetracked because of ADHD. Uh, uh, I can get it done fairly quickly, like an hour, depending on how long the video is. Depending on how much editing it requires, I think is the better way to put it. Because there's some videos that are like sleep aids. They don't require much. They just require nice soft background sounds, the occasional blanket ruffle here and there, because worse, the characters are resting out of bed. They're sleeping. 
but as has been pointed out recently, I do need to get more sound effects. So I'm probably going to invest in a license for a bigger sound effects company. Because right now all of mine are free to use, but you get what you paid for, which is absolutely nothing. I didn't pay for anything. But it could probably it could take anywhere from an hour and a half to all day. <laughs> It just depends on the the length of the video, if it's like the stuff that can only go on Patreon, or if it can just be a YouTube thing. Depends if it's like a full-fledged out story, or if it's like a sleep aid. Uh, there's a whole bunch of factors that kind of determine how long it takes for me to edit something or record it, but all of my stuff is non-scripted. It's all uh, like off the dome. I come up with a general idea and then I just start talking. Which I think gives me a bit of a, an edge in everything because it's a bit more real. It's not script reading. Which script reading is fine and it's perfectly plausible and honestly probably recommended for a lot of people. Um, but I could never find or when I started especially I couldn't find any scripts that I wanted mm -hmm. to do. Wow. It's storming really heavily now. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to have to speed this up because I don't want my computer to crash. <laughs> um, What got you into creating ASMR? Like who or what's your inspo? And how do you only love to collab with somebody? I would love to collab with Debussy. I would love to collab with them. I wanted to start collabing recently, especially. Uh, before, I would never collab with anyone because I was too nervous. I didn't know how to interact with people. But streaming especially has helped me with that. I have started to talk to more people, interact with them. It's not as scary as I once thought it was. <laughs> and honestly, it's kind of probably hindered my progression with a lot of things because I was too scared to interact with others. Um, obviously, who got me into it was Teacup Audios. What got me into it... Uh, was what got me into making it specifically, not what got me to the point, but what got me to making it, is I wanted to do for others what others have done for me by helping me sleep. Um, so that's what I started doing. I always knew that I wanted to do content creation. I never knew that it was as difficult, time-consuming, and stressful as it is. It's worth it, and I love every second of it, but it does cause me quite a bit of stress on occasion with all the analytics, all the legalities, all the all the hoops that you have to jump through to make sure everything's okay. Because <laughs> there's a lot of them. There's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through. But it's what I want to do. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to, like change the world i'm not i can't do that that's not within my power but i can leave it a little bit brighter than when i found it so that's my ultimate end goal is just leave the world a better place a little bit brighter anyway <laughs> a simple one for you what's my favorite band or musician love your content oh that's tough because i listen to a lot of music <laughs> I listen to way too much music. That's literally it. I'm playing music all day, every day. If I'm walking around doing something, I have headphones in. I'm doing, I'm it's always, has me, always have music playing. But let me open up my Spotify real quick to see if I can find a song. Okay, we'll go with them. Thousand Foot Crutch. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Thousand Foot Crutch. I love their music. It's always so good. Every song I've listened to of theirs, I've loved and I've put on repeat more than once. <laughs> uh, what made me change the name and profile picture? Genuinely curious about this. By the way, I love your voice uh, so much. I use it for sleep aid. Keep being the best. Thank you. I'm glad that you like my voice. Uh, what made me change my name and profile picture? Um, probably streaming. I wanted to kind of tie all my content under one name. And they, Lycos and Wolf mean the same thing. Kind of. Like this means wolves, but whatever. <laughs> um, but they both mean the same thing. It's just... I wanted my names to be unified under one thing. Uh, so instead of just wolf audios, it's Lycos ASMR. 
that kind of ties in with my stream, which is Lycosis. It used to be Lycos the Reaper, but I didn't like the Reaper part, and Lycos wasn't available. So it's Lycosis now, which was a joke that I made over a year ago now. <laughs> it's when I first made the Lycosis joke, uh, and that kind of stuck. So I kept it. <laughs> Do I listen to any music? A lot of music. My favorite music genre is probably like alt rock, pop punk, that kind of thing. Uh, my life, music taste wise, it has been expanded a lot as of late due to my significant other. But my life before all this, it sounded like a 2000s hot topic, <laughs> to put it in perspective. I often love your voice for M for M's, but question. May I teleport bread for three days straight? If you can teleport, I, I guess. <laughs> but yes, M for M's. Uh, I do love making male for male content because it is definitely under underserved. <laughs> I like making my gender neutral content and I will always make that over anything else. But I do like sprinkling male for male in there because it's definitely something to be desired. It's not something that's as common or as cared about, I guess. Not cared about, but not a lot of times put into some male for male stuff. And I don't see a lot of stuff that I genuinely enjoy with it or that fits my criteria when I want to listen to that. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too picky, but that's just me. How long do I plan on doing YouTube? As long as I possibly can. Probably forever. I don't have any intention of stopping, so... Um, I'm growing multiple other platforms to... kind of balance things out when days are off, or months are off on YouTube. Uh, and right now, that's working. So, even on bad months like this one, and I, I won't often talk about money because I don't particularly care about money. It's nice and it helps me do a lot of projects that I want to do. But it's never my main concern. There's countless things I'd rather have. <laughs> um, but in terms of making a living off content creation, I'm growing multiple platforms to kind of help balance each other out when each one has an off month. So even if like all three of them had an off month, it would still be enough to support me financially. Well, that's the goal. Not right now, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I hope. Probably not. I'm rambling a lot. But end goal is to be able to do this full-time. Uh, even if it's not ASMR content for full-time, um, I'm still going to post ASMR content. It's not going to stop anytime soon. I enjoy making it, and people enjoy listening to it, so... Yeah, probably forever. Content creation is my end goal. It's what I've put the most time, money, and effort into. It's coming to fruition. So it's just a matter of staying consistent, staying diff like focused on my goal, and not slacking off, which I've been doing this past month, which is why things are a bit stressful. I need to kind of, I need to lock in, <laughs> as my friend would say. Um, do I have a favorite audio piece that you created and or one made by another creator? Um, my stuff would probably, like I said before, would be the, the werewolf series I did a long time ago where like I had the, I had the whole village, uh, other like storylines were like, like the orcs, they were in the same universe. So they would talk about each other in each video, which is really fun. I enjoyed that. Um, what do you do as like a little pick me up? When you're tired, upset, to your go-to activity or place that helps you calm down, relax, and refresh myself. Um, this isn't healthy by any means, but sometimes I just throw myself back in more work. Um, I don't recommend it. It's not a good idea. And you'll often make mistakes in your work if you do that. But I do that occasionally, but my main thing to kind of calm down and relax is have something that occupies my brain. So I will go back and watch old videos that I watched like 10 years ago when they first came out. 
and I'll just watch those. Like, there's compilations of the videos that are put in, like, three-hour formats, and I'll just put one of those on, like, on the side while I'm playing a game or something, or I'll just watch those and just sit there. Um, going out and sitting on my porch. I live on a farm, so I have wonderful views in every angle, so just going out there and sitting, trying to, like, disconnect from the internet and everything for a while is another good thing. This month has been a very draining and tiring one, uh, for sure, but next month will be better. <laughs> I'm always hopeful and try to remain positive with everything, no matter how hard that may be at times. Does anyone ever comment on your Wonderful Voice IRL? Yes, definitely, most definitely. Not as much as of late, because I don't go out very much. I don't, I'm not an outgoing person. <laughs> but yes, I definitely have had comments about it before. Uh, even in, like, online gaming, I have countless comments about it. <laughs> Congratulations on your subs. You certainly deserve it. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. My favorite trope, uh, Werewolf and Neko. Biased, as I said before. Yeah, it's gotta be my favorite. It's, it's the one I started with. I started with Yandere stuff, actually. But the first, like, monster trope I did monster folk i guess would be werewolf and neko i started with that one and it's still my favorite up to this day big spoon or little spoon it depends on the day i'm a ultimate switch so <laughs> uh it could vary from day to day has anyone ever walked in on you making your audios no uh mainly because i record like privately in an upstairs area where my kind of desk is set up and everything. Um, and the people I live with know that I have this as a job. They know that I do YouTube stuff. <laughs> they don't know what I do fully, but they know that I do YouTube stuff and that I need it quiet and undisturbed for a certain point of the day. So no, I have never had anyone walk in while I was recording. What's the longest you can hold your breath for? Uh, also, because of some debate between friends, can you see the images and the magic eye puzzles? I can. Uh, I can hold my breath for... I don't remember fully, but I believe last time I like did that as like a, a challenge, I believe I held it for a minute and 30 seconds. Maybe. It was over, it was a minute at least. Do I enjoy gaming? If so, which games? Uh, I love gaming. I've been gaming my entire life. Um, which games would... That is a tough one because there's countless. But I will go with name brand series for now. Um, so like the Gears of War series, uh, the Halo series, up until 4. After that, it's all downhill. Halo Reach is my favorite. I, that's just how it is. Um... The old Pokemon games on my like Game Boy. I played Silver the most. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I've been gaming my entire life, so... Definitely, definitely enjoy gaming. Favorite movie? Um, Avatar, I said as well earlier, I believe. Yeah, I did. Uh, my most favorite audio to make... Um, werewolf, Neko, friends, delivers trope. Specifically, like, after... Like, after something like... Like, the Neko was kicked out, and the werewolf friend takes them in. Hey, you can stay with me, yada yada yada. One thing leads to another. They both have liked each other for a long time. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> My favorite baked good. I don't eat a lot of baked goods. I don't eat a lot of, like, sweets, baked, anything. But I guess, does apple pie, I, apple pie counts. We'll go with that. Apple pie. I love apple pie. I try Mexican food dessert. So what's your favorite? Um, so you try Mexican cola if you haven't. I have never tried Mexican cola and I don't think I've had genuine um, food like that. I don't think I've had genuine, uh, but it'd probably be... Tacos, because I, I love tacos. 
But no, I don't think I've ever had genuine Mexican food. Opinions on fried chicken. I love it, especially my own. I love my own fried chickens the most because, mm, sorry, I make the best fried chicken. That's just facts. Do you listen to ASMR to help you get inspiration? I do, actually. Um, I did that for a while as well. Um, like late last year. I would like listen to the popular stuff. <sighs> Apologies, it's really late at light, late, blah, 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 late at night for me right now, and I have to record an audio after this. Um, but yeah, I do listen to ASMR occasionally, not as much lately, but I used to especially listen to get inspiration for upcoming videos and things like that. My favorite singer, um. Hmm. I I don't know to be honest. Huh. I guess I'll just say Avril Lavigne cuz I listen to a lot of her old music anyway. I don't listen to much of the new stuff, but I listen to a lot of the old stuff. Favorite music, song artist, or song or artist right now. Um okay, so favorite song was one that was sent to me um, called How To Be Mine. I had that on repeat for a long time because it made me uh, giggle quite a bit because I don't know. <laughs> uh, favorite music is like pop punk, alt rock, that kind of thing. What song describes your mental state as of recent? Um, hold on, let me go to my list of songs here. You know what? This one always has described me pretty well. Thousand Foot Crutches, Be Somebody. That's a good one. And can I sing uh, a little? I, I do plan on doing song covers in the future, but I will not hum a little tune. <laughs> Actually, I do have a little clip from a group project that was kind of scrapped in the past uh, that I will share. And you can tell my voice apart from everybody else because it's the deepest. <laughs> but I might insert that um, right about here at 42 minutes. This song, our song video has gone on for 42 minutes now. That's crazy. Are you ever going to show your face one day? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Because I did this whole... I did the VTuber stuff. Uh, faceless content. All to kind of keep my sense of being anonymous. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I enjoy that feeling and everything of being completely anonymous. But still having a face to attach me to. Which is the one I'm using right now. Hi. If you had a candle that smelled like anything you want what would it smell like see there's one answer i want to say but i shouldn't um <clears throat> so we're gonna say um i don't know actually freshly cut grass that's what i want my candle to smell like <laughs> my second favorite color uh purple uh nathan you are indeed a good boy <laughs> How did you and your partner meet? Um, I'm not going to get too in detail with that because I don't like 
want to share too much personal information. Uh, mainly because that's not really who I am. I'm not a very open person. Uh, but I met them shockingly online. I don't go out much, and I live in an area that's not so... I get a lot of weird looks because I'm a goth boy. <laughs> I dress in very, like, dark attire, uh, everything like that. So I do get a few stares. My nails are painted black. Uh, it's... I don't really look the part of where I live. <laughs> so I definitely wouldn't have met anyone I really cared for around here. Do I have a boyfriend? I do, in fact, have a boyfriend. Are you a furry? No, I'm not a furry. Although I do have a lot of furry friends. But no, my I myself am not a furry. Do you play video games? If so, what is your favorite? Long time fan, keep it up. Thank you for the, the ongoing support. I appreciate you. Favorite game at the moment. Now, favorite game of all time right now is Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate 3 set the bar for what video games should be. Countless hours of content, multiple endings, all for just the price of the game. No in-game currencies, no microtransactions, nothing. It's perfect. Flawless, head to toe. That game has quickly beaten out Skyrim from my number one favorite game. And I've played Skyrim since release and bought multiple copies on multiple different platforms and the reboots. I'm not proud of that fact, but whatever. <clears throat> and I think that is all the questions. It is. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> I don't really know what to say here, like to end this out. I don't really talk a lot outside of character on this channel. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much for the questions. Thank you so much again for 50k. And thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime, really and truly. Because without everyone here, without all of you, without all the support, all of those who've come and gone over the years, My life would not be the same without every single one of you. So I'm grateful. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>